Hello and welcome back everyone to a brand new year in Medieval Dynasty. Last season, in no small part due to our coverlet, we were able to convince Gertie that it would be a good idea to be our wife. We lured some unsuspecting villagers into our town. Sure, they have no food or water or a place to live, uh, they'll be fine. This spring, I plan to sow the seeds for our future. All right, first things first, I need to find a home for these people before they absolutely desert me. So now that Gerarda is living with us, little Gertie, we went ahead and put somebody in here with Radomir. Oh no, that's Zabor and Radomir, who are married now. Uh, but we put Frida over here with Bratomir. They have similar names. It's not my fault, okay? <laughs> and these two are going to live together for now. However, if I do want them to start getting married, I probably want to make sure that they're closer in age, but I, I can't do anything about that right now. And as you can see, we have this house that is not fully built yet. So I think the first thing I'm going to do this morning, before I even talk to my wife, is I'm going to... Oh, hello, Sephora. Yes, tend to my chickens. Thank you. And Gertie is over there doing... Oh, look at all this is done. Oh, yay. We have so much to collect. All right, let's not get distracted. I'm going to go and build this house. That way I can assign them to work there. And then they're just going to be together over there. It's fine. Look, um, we do need a miner anyway for the extraction. It's going to get me a bunch of stone and limestone as well, which will help me upgrade my houses, which will make everybody happier and everybody better. I think the only reason why they haven't left me yet, it's because uh, last year, I think, whenever the year turned at least, there was the marriage of our two peoples. And so that made everybody happier. It gave them like plus 15. So these people are not going to leave me right away, but it's not going to take long. <laughs> I better get this done. Oh, finally. Okay, really quickly. <laughs> Let's make somebody live here. Um, he's got mining too. Uh, we have a couple of people with higher extraction. Uh, but this one's a lumberjack, so it's the same kind of thing. Um, he already has two. So let's go put bed over here. And let's assign him to this house. Yes, he's very unhappy. Like, oh, so unhappy. And basically, I need a girl. Like, I have too many men. I need a girl to be a miner here with my guys, so maybe we'll just let him go. I wonder if we can just release him into the wild. We're just gonna say goodbye to Nerod. He's gonna get unhappy enough that he's gonna leave us, and that's gonna be fine. We need to get ourselves a girl so she can sleep with bed, and she can hopefully become a miner just like him, and thus we will have a mining family on this side of the river. But for now, I am heading back home, and I also noticed, if you uh, can see it as well, there's like these little hammers here. So maybe I head there first. We'll just go really quickly and see what those are all about. <gasps> Hello. Oh, I can get myself a ride? 300? Oh, this is, uh, this is robbery. Oh, unbelievable. But I really just want to take a ride. I've never... I mean, look, 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 look. The problem is, I don't think I can pay my taxes and take a ride. Because 300... Oh, that's not nothing, right? But it is cool that they allow you to do that. I could definitely get there. Uh, I could probably pay my taxes and still afford the ride. <sighs> but I'm like kind of broke. No, no, no. I'm just going to get my own horses. It's not even that I'm so close. And by close, I mean I'm nowhere near close. But I feel it, you know? I feel like I could get there. So let's just not be lazy. For now, I will walk. I'll pay my taxes. I'll be responsible. And I hate to say it. I will walk. Hello there. Hello, my beautiful Gerarda. She's just going to give me an apple juice. Thank you so much. Oh, she is beautiful. Oh, do I go straight in and say I'm ready to have a child? Yes. You know, she agrees. <laughs> we are ready. Come see me at our house after 7 p.m. <laughs> I think we shall. I think we shall. Have a good day. All right. She said we needed more wood, though. I did ask her. 
I gotta get some poop going. And unfortunately, my lady, as wonderful as she is, she's very, very slow. So let's just make it ourselves. 79 fertilizer coming up. And we are gonna work the fields. I am a little bit sad about the guy who's about to leave us, but, um... You know what? He's working for us right now. So I suppose at the very least we got a day's work out of him. <gasps> She's walking home. You know what that means? It's go time. We're gonna take a little bit of a bath, of course. Clean our little underpants. You never know. We can't be stinky going into here. And now... We are ready, Gertie. Let's make an air. How can I help you? <gasps> she will do favors for me. Could you take this money to the castle line to pay your taxes? I can just send her over? I mean, I would be okay with that, but I would really appreciate first if we could just, um, get this going for tonight. I think we're ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Make me the happiest woman on earth. I love you. <gasps> oh shit, we lost the night! Gertie, you kept me entertained all night. I lost the whole evening. Gertie! Gertie, Vrasimir doesn't sleep. Oh, damn it. Well, well, well. Welcome to day two. How can I help you? Oh, she's gonna give me food. Oh, uh, lovely. She's so useful. I will ask her to pay my money, though. I think... Uh, just go pay our taxes. Sure thing, I'll do it right away. Perfect. Perfect. Goodbye. Be well, my love. Damn, she is so useful. She is the most useful of them all. But you're still cleaning. Oh! Oh, she just pays it. She doesn't actually have to walk there. I thought she was gonna have to walk there. <laughs> she doesn't. Oh my gosh, she gave me a bear! Just like the one I saw her with whenever I first met her. I will eat her pear. And also, I probably want to sell this cheese. It sells for quite a bit. I threw away some rock there. I'm going to have to put it somewhere, but she's doing great. Hopefully, she's pregnant. I mean, I did waste the whole night, which I am not super happy about, okay? Rasimir does not sleep. But apparently, I did. Apparently, I did. Um, I'll be honest, though. It was a good night. It was a good night. We, we are rested, shall we say. I'm gonna make some copper bars. We're gonna get all these smelted because I want to make myself some tools for the farming. There's gonna be a lot of farming this spring. Guys, I saw that horse, okay? I saw that carriage and I just want one of my own. Let's turn this into bronze. Look, here's the hope, all right? I don't know if this is a good idea because I'm already getting worried that I'm using all the copper <laughs> and that I won't be able to make bronze tools. But listen to me. If I can, that's going to be gracious. So if we look at the bronze tools, uh, not there yet. I'm 372 out of 500. I need production. How do I increase my production quickly? It's the question. <gasps> my animals have no feed. All right. With our brand new tool, we're just collecting as much rye as possible. Even though I do have some rye, I was hoping that I would get some oat. Am I like completely out of oat? Or is this oat? Oh, this is wheat. Uh, I don't think it's ready to be harvested, though. No, it is not. Oh, the animal feed might be a problem. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble. And what's gonna happen right now, I know it, is I'm gonna end up using all the oats to make animal feed. Let's just only make 25. All right, and let's plant five. I know that's like not enough, but it's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'll probably just go buy more to go Stovia tomorrow. My babies. Let's fill that. Oh, there's a lot of manure just laying in here. Wait, does my worker just not collect it? Maybe he's just slow at collecting. You know? That could be it. He does seem like he doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> like he's there by mistake. Uh, but hopefully everything's gonna work out here. Yeah, my girls are doing fine. I filled that up and this one still has 47%. Oh yeah, the chickens are thriving. I don't have to worry about the chickens, but it was the piggies that were having a little bit of an issue. Don't worry about them, they're fine now. Now I do need to go buy more, more seeds for sure, but I do have enough fertilizer and clearly enough manure to get going on this. So I'm just gonna create a little bit more poop here. 
just to be sure. I am going to plant as much as I can. I don't know if I can plant the oats this season, but we're going to give it a go. All right, now that we acquired all our seeds, and you can tell here we can plant anything except the rye. I'm not too worried about the rye because we do have a ton planted already over there. So let's go ahead and fertilize the whole field, hoe it down with our new hoe, and then hopefully by tomorrow, we'll be able to go to Gostovia because I do have some stuff to sell, some quests to do, and most importantly, we need to buy ourselves more seeds. <laughs> One way or another, this spring, we will plant our seed. Oof, I'm tired, but this hoe is so much better than my last one. Yep, I hear it now. It just goes so much longer. Like, it doesn't break as easily. Someone stop me. <gasps> A goose house! Oh, yes. Um... Uh, I mean, I don't know why I want geese, but I want them. Are they the same thing as chickens, though? Like, what else do they produce? Um, I don't know. But I can get them, so that means I'm upgrading. I'm advancing. Oh, I hope I get there soon. Please, horses. I mean, please make it happen. Please. I think if I just go a little bit harder on this, if I just keep pushing with the farming this season, we might be able to get there. So let me get my little sickle out. And even though it doesn't last as long as I would like it to, it certainly doesn't last as long as the hoe. It will have to do. Get to chopping. All this rye will be mine. Am I poisoned? While well, poisoned, the food parameter cannot be increased. It's poisoning can threat. I poisoned myself hard. I, I don't exactly know what it did, but I'm pretty sure that I can't eat. I think I'll be okay. I was losing health because I wasn't watching over my food. And then I just ate a cheese that was a little bit old, I guess. Okay, guys, 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 guys. Don't judge me. It was cheese. I mean, how could I not eat the cheese? Cheese is always old. Cheese is by definition old. All right. It's getting a little bit early. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an orchard. Our first orchard. I did as much as I could over here and over there. All of that is planted. We're still missing this side here. So I'm a little bit concerned, but we're just going to need more poo. So, you know, definitely we just need more pigs. But I'm leaving a little bit of an area here. Two, three, four, maybe. And let's just put an orchard. What if I go behind the pigs? I mean, the reality is the orchard can be really far away. Because I don't care too much that it's far away. I hear that the trees take forever to grow anyway. So we want to leave a little bit of an area and maybe we'll just put it behind the pigs. I think that'd probably be a good idea. Uh, we're probably going to need another pig pen. So I want to leave a little bit of space. And I'm going to put the orchard like back here. And it's going to be just a small orchard. Um, this is a one by one. Oh, that's just one tree. <gasps> that's, a, that's a big boy. Yeah. So we'll just do like two of them here and we'll go like that. And that's going to be more than enough for now. And by the way, so after looking into everything, I'm pretty sure that the copper hoe is really, really worth it. However, the copper sickle, uh, it's not that worth it. Maybe just for a convenience thing, but it's just really not. It breaks so easily. I'm thinking if we go to iron or a higher material, maybe even bronze, it might be really worth it. But as it is, it doesn't quite seem like it is. Okay, very nice. This looks good. It even looks okay with the pig pen there. It does stick out a little bit more on this side than it does on this side. Uh, so maybe that's something to consider for the future. But I think that's okay because on this side, there's going to be other fields and other stuff like that. So I'm pleased we're going to make it happen right here. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because I don't have a lot of fertilizer left. I'm going to have to buy a little bit more. But, oh wait, I don't need fertilizer. What? Yeah, I just, bloop, there it is. <laughs> I need to get myself more seeds. Oh, I'm going to get myself more. Okay, so really I can only have probably like three, four, five more trees in here. Unless I make another one, which I probably will. I mean, now that I'm looking at this. Awesome. So I'll make more. I don't need poop for this. More trees, more trees. All right, let me get my stuff ready, though. 
I'm going to finish this off. I still have, like, a pitiful amount of fertilizer left, so I guess I'll use it. We'll plop it right here, and then we'll get going. And my worker is now working on making fertilizer, so she'd be, she should be making it now. And my worker, by my worker, I mean my wife. She should be doing it right now. Uh, it's just that I didn't have her set up for that, so I feel a little bit bad, but that was all my fault. It was nothing to do with Gertie. So hopefully she'll be at work now doing what I need her to do. And I think that will cut down on some of the things that I have to do. In general, I probably do want to get workers more automated because I am doing a lot of this myself. And we can have field workers. We can have a lot of things. And I just need to set it up and I haven't done it. So yes, maybe for next season, I'll focus on setting up a little bit of a... Maybe for next year. I don't know if this year will be possible. But maybe for next year, we'll try to automate this as much as possible. I guess we'll go with a little bit more cabbage. There's nothing wrong with cabbage. Pottage, pottage all the way. Ooh. Well, well, well. Um, let's see. What did we just get? Wait, I can have a donkey? Wait, 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 wait. Plans have changed. Look, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. Let's be real. We probably won't be... But I have a donkey. Little donkey shelter. Oh my god, it's adorable. Look at it, it's so tiny. Alright, I was gonna put it by the pigs, but I'm guessing the donkey will be good for carrying things around. You know, I'm going to assume. So I'm gonna put it, if I can, somewhere up here. Bloop. Alright. <laughs> it's back here. It's behind the uh, storage house here. Which I think I'm okay with. This is the storage house, right? I'm not crazy. Oh, sorry, guys. It's probably been super dark. Yeah, yeah, it is right here. So we got it right here, right where we wanted. Let's get this built. I, I have a dream. Look, I don't know if I have the money. I don't know if I have the money, but I'm going to try my best. I'm pretty sure that where donkeys live was Chutki, I think. It was definitely up here. This is where we went to do the quest with the cow. What was that? Okay. <laughs> Just a big thump in my house. Let's not think about it. How is life treating you? Hello. You soon. Oh, wait, Hi what? There. You want to speak to me? Wash See off. Oh, crap. She won't even let me sell to her. I told you guys I was a little stanky. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Dirty Henry. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Thank you, Gabe. Thanks for the reminder. I'm back here, okay? Don't worry. I'm clean now. I'm clean. I've washed off. Hello. Hello. Oh, finally. I'm good enough for you, woman. She's broke. We took it all. See you soon. Norbert's out of money, too. Dude, Kia. We're back. Wait, did they change something around here? Oh, I drained her as well. <laughs> See you soon. Farewell. Uh, I wonder if there's another vendor here. In these small towns, there's only one, usually. So, yeah, that's about it. But we can see if we can buy her some of this, and maybe by paying her, we'll get some. Okay, if we get the full, it's only $2,600. $3,750 for the big boys. I mean, I won't be able to buy two, but if I can just get one. One for now. I think that will do. So, let's take a look. $4,700. I think I can just buy one. Let's buy the mail. Wait, what? I... I didn't finish the building. <gasps> no! And I broke it. <laughs> I broke it, I broke it. Oh, no, no, no. And I didn't even get the bird. Yeah, I forgot to do the roof. Oh, I can't even. I can't even. Just things are going from bad to worse. From bad to worse. And the worst part is that I had the stuff on me. And I remember thinking, oh, why do I have straw on me? Yeah, look, it's still on me. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. It was for this. Well, well, well. Whoops. Okay, I will say, though, at the very least, there is this one solace in all of it. Which is, I definitely, definitely have the money to buy at least one donkey. <laughs> Here we go. He's in. <laughs> I have almost no money left. 
<laughs> Let's see if we can even take a ride back. Hello? Okay, it's only 110. I think I can make it. Let's go. What happened? So I just teleport? I did just teleport! Awesome! That's actually pretty cool. So I don't have to ride it. I thought I would have to do the whole ride. <gasps> the Wagoneers are worth it, guys! I mean, yes, it costs you a little bit. Sure, 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 sure. I... I agree. It's a lot. But, if you think about it, that's... that's so mega worth. And now I'm here at the mine, so I can actually do a little bit of mining tonight. You know, before I leave. Okay, what I'm going to do first, though, is I'm going to grab an insane amount of logs here. Just as many as I can. I know this is kind of dumb, but I have to do this myself for now. I have put my workers a little bit on making firewood. So my um, my guy at the, uh, what is it called? The wood shop should be making firewood now. At least at 20% capacity. So we're, we're having him make firewood. We're having him make planks. And we're having him just chop down trees. So I'm going to need another one to work there. So basically, I just need more workers. This summer, I am going to focus on just expanding our empire. I need to automate things. I am tired. My poor Rasimir doesn't sleep. He had to sleep one time this spring to be able to create an heir. And honestly, that cost me. That cost me dearly. Oh my god. <laughs> I am so thirsty. I don't know if I'm going to die. I feel like it's a race against time. It's either me... Or the, or the season changes. <laughs> I hope the season changes, man. I can eat an unripe berry, but I cannot get any more water. I'm inside the mine right now. Uh, let's just hope for the best. I don't know what to say. We got some tin going at least, and hopefully some copper here. Really just need more copper. This is the only tools that I can make. Yeah, I am losing a little bit of health. Look, look, look. Let's not think about it. Let's not think about it. If I die, then you know I die. <laughs> and if not, then we, uh, we cut it a little bit close, which should be fun in a way. I'm lost. Oh, crap. I, I, anyway, I feel it's going to be a little bit easier if I do find my way out. Uh, it's just going to be easier than walking back home once the season changes. That's how confident I am that I'm going to... I made it. That I'm going to make it, I said <laughs> That was cutting it so close. Hello, Gerarda. There he is. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. My donkey. Oh, crap. The oats are not ready yet. I repeat, the oats are not ready. Oh, I'm going to have to buy animal feed. That's okay. That's okay. It's a great start to my summer. All right. We'll get our little donkey a little saddle bag. We also need to get him food. <laughs> and a partner, all right? A partner in crime. So that eventually they will create a lot of donkey babies. Same for these. I hope that they have a piglet going very, very soon. <gasps> There's a lot of poop here. My worker doesn't really clean the poop in the house, which I find it to be a little bit disturbing. But maybe they just slowly work their way to cleaning up the poo and they just, you know, hadn't done it yet. But this one has a lot of animal feed, so we're looking really, really good there. I wonder if my worker had been making animal feed, and that's why they're so well fed. Because this one is also pretty well fed, as you can see. My little chicks. Oh my god! Collect the eggs! Yes! I don't know if my girls connect, collect them, or if it's just me. But there is a lot to collect here. Yeah, maybe eventually they do it too. They're just slow. And I can do it a lot faster. <laughs> But that's pretty cool. I love that. I love that. Maybe that's just what they do for me. So I have something to collect, you know, even though there might be a worker there. I have no idea, I'll be honest. But I will take the extra little bonus. Don't get me wrong. And with that, though, I think we've done it. We've done it. We had a very successful spring. We've planted a lot of stuff. We have planted a seed on my woman, of course. She is now pregnant. And I will very soon... Have an air. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the third spring of Medieval Dynasty. Our little village is growing, and it's going to grow so much more this year. But for now, we have a donkey. We have somehow paid our taxes responsibly. And of course, we have a baby on the way. Thanks again. Remember to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you guys on the next one.
Until then, bye.